yeah. try different he, things. And he, he's who I first learned about these concepts from, and I worked with him for quite a while on, on setting up my room and even eventually other people's rooms using that approach. Um, what I had found was that while you can get good results that way, I got more consistent results with your approach actually. And it was just easier to add the one extra subwoofer. Which, which for rectangular rooms, it, yeah. But then I, the reason I thought of it is because I'm wondering if there's some, uh, like, a better, you know, trial and error system, which is not completely trial and sure. error. Like for these rooms that are not rectangular, you know, is there some system which is kind of a hybrid, you know, where you do some, you you pick like if there's a corner, right? You put one sub there just to start with, and then. The other sub, you know, you put wherever, and maybe there's some kind of in, uh, optimized procedure that that could work, and uh, that's something I've thought about for a while. I haven't, I haven't developed one yet, but it that could be one uh, approach. Yeah, no, that makes sense. We actually there's a group of us that talk. Um, we have like a little WhatsApp chat group, and they're all basically everybody's kind of like what I would call a upper end or a more elite, if you will, home theater designer. So we all contemplate crazy problems all the time that most people don't and that it came up you know has anybody put subwoofers in the ceiling and optimized like the quarter point mm -hmm. locations yeah 